Ah, the egg fleet. Need I go on? Well, evidently, because the loading screen's taking too long. Ooh, fish. Someone's compensating for something. How did you find that out? Did you give yourself that name? Because it seems like that can't really be a coincidence. <laughs> did you say space? I don't know what memory that triggered, but... Yes, you were built on Space Colony Arc. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Ah, walked right into that. Ah! A robot that needs rings to survive. I wonder if any of these robots need rings to survive. Like the ones we're fighting. If so, I mean, there's rings everywhere, guys. It's got to look a bit harder. One-ups are always good. These hawks carrying these robots. I'll do some more destroying of stuff when I'm... That'll be useful. You know what, I'm not taking any chances. Always fall off on this platform, it's a bugger. Oh, this is sketchy as. No. Oh, jeez. See what I mean? Oh, if you love him so much, why don't you marry him? Oh, hello, boys. And girls, I don't know what gender cannons normally take. Whatever it is, it's threatening. What, as in, I don't get another life? Mike did say that video game characters are fortunate and they always have extra lives. I mean, how great would it be? You know, that would certainly make murder a lot less wrong. Because if they had extra lives, they'd be fine. But then if they didn't, it'd be game over. And then the news headlines would look very different. Serial killer ends game for poor unsuspecting victim. Maybe I'm reading a bit too far into this. I think I do that a lot. There's two of them. Oh jeez. Pretty pink light. Now if I do this, it freezes the beam where it was. That's pretty. But I shouldn't walk into it. Fire shadow at it. Oh no, he's fine. I guess it was just a bubblegum ray after all. Hiya. Don't know why I keep doing that with Shadow. It's probably because in Sonic 06, rather than having a continuous homing attack with Shadow, you homing attack once and then you do like several punches and kicks. It's weird. Okie dokie, Rouge. You're the bat. Ascend? What does that mean? I like it. It's like, descend, ascend. He'd be like a great poet. You know, if you're a person, he'd be so poetic. Oh, only as a person would be awesome. But then that begs the question, would Omega be male or female as a person? 
I'm gonna go with male, just given by his voice. But, you know, let's destroy some more stuff over here. How do I short circuit them with Thundershoot? I mean, surely I'd need a piece of metal to do that. Or, you know, something. Use some water, maybe. I don't have any water. The ocean is down below us, and it's a really long way. And I really can't be bothered to fly all the way down there to get a bucket of water and come back up. So, I won't be short circuiting any cannons, thank you very much. I will probably be freezing time. Because why not? I mean, in this day and age, can we really afford not to? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm just trying to pass the time. It's probably very boring watching me play this without any sort of commentary. Or maybe my commentary is the worst part, and you've maybe you've muted it and you can't actually hear what I'm saying anyway, so... You know, joke's on me then, isn't it? Because I'm just sat here assuming people are listening to my commentary. And, uh, you know. What else to talk about? Oh, I've got one. So, isn't it a bit of a paradox? Omega says he must eradicate all Eggman's robots. But Omega is an Eggman robot. So technically, after he's eradicated everything to do with Eggman, is he, does he plan on committing suicide? Like, what happens then? Because it'd be a bit hypocritical not to. I know that sounds harsh, but it's true. He says I must destroy everything. You know, I must destroy all of Eggman's robots. Well, he's not destroyed all of Eggman's robots until he's killed himself. Also, how would Omega go about killing himself? I mean, how would the logistics of that work? You know, because he can't poison himself. He can't really shoot himself, not very easily anyway. Um, I don't know. How would Omega commit suicide after he'd completed his mission? This is a very dark topic of conversation. But, you know, someone's got to be wondering it. I can't be the only one. Let's destroy everything around us. Too close, or not close enough even. May as well get the middle one. I don't know what that is, I don't particularly want it. Ah! Oh, there's a switch! Whoa, careful. What's this? Oh! Extra life! I've got 30 lives! That's actually quite a lot for Team Dark, because I die a lot more than I do on anyone else. Which is understandable, I mean, they're the hardest team. You're supposed to say, hey, Jay, you're not supposed to die at all. You're supposed to be a boss of this game. Well, I haven't played it in a while. You know, there might have been a time when I did have 99 lives with Team Dark. And Shadow's got 99 problems, but, you know, uh, whatever a female hedgehog is called ain't one. What is a female hedgehog called? I know Baby Hedgehog is called a Hoglet. That's no word of a lie, they're actually called Hoglets. But, what's a female hedgehog called? Who knows? Interesting hedgehog trivia. Uh, the male hedgehog, it's not uncommon for the male hedgehog to eat its own male babies. I assume that's some sort of competition thing. 
they don't want to be outcompeted by their sons, so they eat them before they can grow. It doesn't happen in all hedgehogs, obviously, but it can happen. Hedgehogs, uh, oh, here's an interesting fact about hedgehogs, um, which you probably already knew, but their diet is actually, cap or their digestive system is catered towards low-fat protein, so if you give a hedgehog sugary food, and they love fatty and sugary food, um, you know, they absolutely adore it, they get fat very quickly, and, um, there's been cases where basically, you know the McFlurries you get at McDonald's? Well, basically, there's been cases of hedgehogs getting their heads stuck in those, in, you know, like the containers, uh, trying to lick out the excess ice cream. But the thing is, the hedgehogs then can't get their heads out, so they actually mill around until either someone spots them and helps them out, or they just die of starvation. It's really horrible. So, yeah, major cause of hedgehog death. That bird just flew into the side of the fishy ship. That was kind of dumb. Oh, down, right. Um, ugh. Any other facts about hedgehogs? Can't think of anything. Uh, when they're born, they've got no fur. I think that's most mammals for you, though. Yeah, I don't really know that many interesting things about hedgehogs, I'm afraid. Sorry guys. I knew you'd come here expecting a big, you know, documentary. You know, a David Attenborough style. You know, what is it David Attenborough does? Something to do with nature. Oh jeez. Ah, so many missiles. I do not want to die at the moment. No. Get a ring, get a ring. I'm just trying to kill all these cannons. Ah. Sketchy. I don't really care about that, to be honest. I will destroy whatever is down here. The uh, hedgehogs like to get their heads stuck in things. They don't like to, but it happens a lot. Um, you can find loads of videos on YouTube of what's called tubing, where they just get their heads stuck in a tube. And it's really cute, but it's also quite sad because, you know, now that I've told you the whole, oh yeah, it's also a major cause of death. So, next time you're eating a McFlurry, you know, please put it in the bin. Don't, you know, drop it on the floor because a baby hedgehog might get their head stuck in it. And that would be bad. And, um, you know, because no, nobody might be around to help it and it might die. And that will be on your conscience. You'll be a terrible person. They're gonna make build a statue of you in the future, entitled "Evilest Bastard Who Ever Walked the Planet." Or you know, if if you're a female, "Evilest Bitch That Ever Walked the Planet." And yeah, people will think you are a prick. True story. Uh, I'm not making this up. It'll actually happen. I have foreseen it. Oh look, it's the end of the stage. Not bad. Yeah, break as much shit as possible. That is the Team Dark way. I'm actually not too fussed about doing their challenges. Obviously I'm going to do them, but they're not going to be too hard. The Team Sonic ones that really bug me, and the Team Chaotix ones. Fuck the Team Chaotix challenges. Some of them are easy enough, some of them just fucking suck. 
Yeah, you might want to go to the bathroom first, but... Cool. Oh, jeez. Look at this thing. There was nothing for me to do there, really. I'm just going to ignore this bit and move on. These parts with the yellow tape around them are in the unstable sections. So Emidor wasn't lying. Wait. Very good of them to actually have target markers so we can see when we're about to be killed. I mean, that's quite chivalrous. Then again, if you read the um, the game manual, there's some interesting stuff about Dr. Eggman. He is a, a self-proclaimed romanticist, he is a feminist, and uh, a gentleman. This bit really screws with you if you get it wrong. Yeah, so, things you didn't know about Eggman. I'm sure he's a nice enough guy, like, apart from the whole evil taking over the world business. But, yeah. I mean, it's interesting. You know, I bet Sonic isn't a feminist. I've really got no evidence to support that, I mean... Yeah, I don't really know what Sonic's views are on gender equality. <laughs> I think feminist is quite a misleading term anyway, because it is supposed to be about equality. That is, that is the definition. But with a name like feminism, it could be misconstrued. And in fact, it does get misconstrued regularly. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go into that conversation because don't really have any political views and don't really get into these arguments. What is, is at the end of the day, and if people are stupid, people are stupid. You know, if people think they're special, even when they're clearly not, then you just kind of have to live your life and ignore them. But once one except the fact that all people are just people and they are all equal and let's face it if there is such a thing as a god then all people would be equal in that god's eyes anyway but i'm not going to debate whether there's a god or not because i myself am not actually sure Oh no! Yep. Please don't get hurt. That was close. No, this one. Oh, if you step on it for long enough, it'll break. Have you ever looked outside an aeroplane window and seen the bit that says no step? I imagine that they're stepping on that bit. These switches I can tolerate because I'm on the ground when I pull them. Come on. I have the one hit shield, it's fine. That's an automatic bit. You automatically get swept up regardless. That's it. Use your shield, you coward. You poultry. You toady. And, jeez. Heavy egg hammer. Guess what? I'm using Team Blast. I cannot be bothered with the hassle of taking out a heavy egg hammer. Doesn't mean I have to wait for this. Oh, check this out. Oh, it's not that one. Maybe it's this one. Oh. See, normally there's a thing in there, but you can't get it. It just torments you. What the hell is up with that? Also, leaving self-destruct switches around his own base. Jeez. Yeah. 
Slightly on, but not really. No, you turn the switch on. I'll just stress on. You need to turn the switch to whatever the frick it isn't on at the moment. You know, those cannons are a design flaw because they can't even swivel. So unless I'm standing directly in front of the cannon, it's not really that much of a threat. Oh, this is fun. Fun on a bomb. Oh, I'm up the guy's ass. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, there's a bit of extra faff with Team Dark, unfortunately. Is that the only switch? Where's the fan? There it is. Right, this bit's interesting. So, we've got three switches, but they're guarded by all sorts of crap. Now get away. Wait for my teammates to recover. has got like infinite missiles, why can't I just use those? Right, one. Two. Three. I really, really need this bit. Didn't seem to do too badly just then, but sometimes it can be really annoying. She said the hmm hmm as if to throw a dummy ring bomb, and then she didn't. Oh, please land in the right place. So sketchy. So many different places you can crawl. Shield, you coward. Oh. Now we get the glory of hitting the target to get the fan to work. Uh, it's gonna be like three heavy egg, egg hammers at the top, isn't it? I just know it. I like the way he holds his- oh, it's a heavy. What the hell just happened there? What the bloody hell did I just do? I just swung on an invisible pole. Fire, fire. 
Ja. That'll do. What did I do back there? Was there a pole there? That robot just fell down again. I don't understand that, really, but okay. Oh, we're not done yet. I agree with Shadow, this next bit is a bit of a bitch. Are there any robots here waiting to get me? No. Alright, I'm gonna be rude. Shh. It's just whatever. Why are they different colours? Why are they just like, you know, middle laser, left laser, and right laser? You know, because that yellow laser is not yellow. Phew. Uh-huh. Yeah. Phew, good job I, got, I caught some of the rings, because otherwise this next bit's going to be really hard. Land me on the right place. Ah. Oh god. This next bit's gonna be hard. Uh huh. Oh. Uh. We're not even out of the woods yet. Because after this bit, right, just hover there for a minute. Yeah, we're not even like it's so easy to die at this last bit. I really hate it. Because look how slowly we're going. I've got to fly down there, kill all those robots without getting hit. And that's the thing, without getting hit. Luckily, they don't have shields, so we've pretty much done it. But the amount of times, well, okay, it was once that I thought I was in the clear and then I wasn't. Phew. Oh, you don't know what's coming next. I'm sorry for the very political talk um, during this level, I guess. I guess it just makes me grumpy, this level, so I have to talk about grumpy things like politics and whatever. But yeah, just grow the fuck up everyone. Jeez. If you think you're better than someone else for means beyond anyone's control, like, oh I was born a man, therefore I'm better than women, you're a prick. <laughs> End of story. The fishing line? Omega and Eggman, no, not Omega and Eggman, Rouge, Shadow and Eggman were on the same team. In Sonic Adventure 2. Right, there should be a fly core here, which I want. Perfect. Jeez. Oh, he's gonna charge me. Ah. Ow. Will do. Oh, E2000s. Get a ring, get a ring. Ah, so many things trying to kill me. Ah. Carry on, Fine. 
Yeah. Hitting you while you're frozen in time. He can't hear you, by the way. Yes. Oh, God. I killed him and then I died. Fuck. Right, and again. <laughs> is that all Omega knows how to say? Is affirmative. Oh dear. Don't fall. Ow. That would be unfortunate to... Whoa. I've got two less cannons firing at me. Right. This is easy once you've frozen the time, I think. Come on. Yes. Oh. Okay. One minute and nine seconds. I don't think we did alright, to be honest. Could have maybe done that in under a minute, but yeah. Yeah, speaking of which, where is the treasure? I mean, we've, I think we just killed Eggman, so do we just take his wallet? I mean, what do we do? It's not the real Eggman, though. Notice how that's not the first thing she notices as she walks into the room. All the bloody shadows. But it's fine, because they're all androids. He's not. But, shut up. I don't know what Omega's gone off to do, but... Oh, your love interest is here as well. What else is a famous treasure hunter supposed to do? Oh, I get it. She's like Lara Croft. Except she's a bat. So she's exactly like Lara Croft. Huh, I made it funny. But seriously, huh. I never saw of it. I never realized that before. Okay. I like all of the songs for the teams in this game, except the Team Sonic one. It's a bit of Julian K. A bit of Julian K. A song by a guy called Julian K. This machine. Because they are a machine, the three of them. Or Omega is the machine. Rouge and the Machine. It's going to be the new band. You got the treasure, and you got the treasure. That was terrible. Oh yeah, the fight that happened for no reason other than to make the game consistent with what it was doing. We can. That's what the Sonic theme is called. It's not that good. No offence. Okay, a little bit of offence was intended. It's got no pupils, the Shadow Robot. Metal's undergone some, I want to say plastic surgery, but that wouldn't go down well. 
some uh, alloy surgery. I don't know. I got nothing on that one. Why would he build a Metal Sonic in the first place? Is it to remind him of the only thing he has to live for? That's a good point. What if Eggman actually did kill Sonic? It'd be like that Family Guy episode where Coyote finally kills Roadrunner and eats him, and then his life just loses all purpose. And he tries to commit suicide, and then in the end he becomes a Jehovah's Witness. Imagine Eggman as Jehovah's Witness. I'd invite him in. You know, with a voice like that. I, I doubt many people would. He is quite scary. And he's probably about seven feet tall in real life. I think there is some sort of backstory as to why he's shaped like an egg, but I'm just not entirely sure what it is. Susanna. It's an interesting name. Like Susanna, but with an extra Z. Nice. Oh, I didn't, uh... I didn't comment on the names, did I? Uh, Sega. That's an interesting name. Never met anyone called Sega. Well, I have now. Try another story. Well, there's only one more story to do. And you all know which one that is. Oh, God. Yep. It seems like I have no other choice. So, next time... Uh, we're going to be looking at these guys. So... We're almost there. Almost. One more team to do. It's arguably the hardest team because of how bullshit some of the stuff is that you have to do, but we'll do it. So, I'll see you next time.